Hello YouTube, uh, Tran Tech here from Tran Tech Hobbies. Today I'm bringing you a unboxing video of uh, Rimuru Tempest from the anime of that time I got and reincarnated as a slime. Um, this is a prize figure by Bandai. Um, the prize figure is from an Ichiban Kuji line or Ichiban Show. Um, this figure is normally won in a lottery system that happens in Japan, um, but it also had a pre-order, uh, which is why the term Ichiban Show comes from. Um, the actual line, uh, figure line, is called, uh, they call it this, the Prize A Kimono version for Rimuru Tempest. Um, so further in the video, I'll show what some of the other characters are supposed to look like too from this line. This is the front of the box. I really like this box design. I thought this box was um, great. Um, here is the title of the anime, the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Um, I bought this at my local collectible shop for $65, which I thought was a pretty good price. These are the characters that are expected to have figures in the same Ichiban Kuji figure line. Um, right now, I think only Rimuru and Diablo have um, figures out on this line. Um, and Rimuru also has another um, figure where it's like a an alternate color, um, where he has black hair, and I think his kimono and everything is black and red instead of this blue. But I'm very excited for um, all the other characters. I hope to get the whole cast. Here is the back of the box. Nothing special about it. Just little instruction manuals and all that. Safety warnings, warranty. And then the side of the box has just pictures of the figure itself. So here I am opening it. Um, this figure was sealed. Um, I already, off screen, I already opened the tape. But um, this figure comes blistered package. And the first thing I see when I'm taking out this figure is that it looks like it's already pre assembled, or maybe it's just one piece. Um, but uh, it was very nice, and it had some weight pulling out this uh, figure, or the blister package out of the box. Um, like my initial thoughts, uh, this is the sword that he wields. I don't. And the sword, I mean, it feels plastic. It actually is kind of fragile. Um, it really has no weight to it or anything like that. So now for the main figure, like I thought before, this is just in one piece. I didn't have to put anything together other than this sword, which will happen later. But I thought this figure was beautiful. Um, it pretty much exceeds my expectation for what a prize figure is. But considering it is on a higher scale than a normal prize figure at the $65 price point, I would hope it was nicer. Um, so the blue is actually a bit darker than what is seen on the box, but I like the hair a lot. Some people probably not like how translucent, translucent um, his ponytail is, but I thought it added a really nice effect to it. Um, there are some crinkles around the face mask, but it can't be seen unless you're looking at it real close up. And the jacket is beautiful and it has this slime pattern on it 
and it's shaded also nicely so um, and it's attached already um, so it's not something that I had to put it on separately so that was a plus um, the only thing is it's pretty fragile I'm sh if I put on any weight or if it drops this jacket is gone <laughs> and then the little um, tassel effects um, are light and bendable actually and then I'm looking at underneath because it looked like it could put a light in there but I think that's just ice but these little tassels they're actually quite um, flexible it's not just one solid piece of uh, plastic or resin or anything like that I could move it if I wanted to but I'm not and then putting on the sword itself um, was fairly easy I'm actually putting it in wrong right here. Um, it just kind of slides in, but his arm it feels kind of fragile, so I didn't want to put too much weight while trying to force that sword in. So you just kind of have to work your way, wiggle that sword back and forth until it can slide in, um, because I think too much force will actually break apart that hand. And so now we're going to jump cut to the figure with sword in hand. It took me a little bit, like I said, to force that sword in there without uh, snapping his wrist off. <laughs> but here is the figure, um, all done. Um, so here are my final thoughts and a review on the figure. Um, I really like this figure. Um, when I originally went to go out to buy it. Um, I had seen it on my local store's Instagram, um, but the post had been posted about like two or three weeks ago, so I went in hopes that it was still there, and it was. Um, I really liked the coloring on it, the shading I thought was great, um, the little slime patterns on the jacket and on the base itself was a great plus, um, and um, I think it, it's a perfect figure for someone who doesn't want to spend too much, um, like on a, like getting a scale figure, which could be about a hundred more, they want to spend less. The only downside to this is that this figure is a bit rarer on the inventory side. Um, it did have a pre-order for outside of the U.S., but it's still a bit um, harder to find. Um, not many people seem to have um, considered buying this or anything like that but um, but if you find it see it anywhere and you like um, the time I got reincarnated as a slime then I would recommend this figure so I give it a five out of five or maybe a four and a half out of five because the hand like I said before felt like it was gonna snap um, and there are some little chips in the painting and everything like that so maybe more of a four out of five or four and a half out of five but um yeah that is my review for this figure and um, thanks for watching <laughs>